आई एम विद रियल एडमिरल आर के ढींगरा साहब हु हैज़ क्लोजली मॉनिटर्ड the flood and uh, relief and rescue mission in southern district of tamil nadu and let's speak to him sir what was the most challenging job and how many people you have involved in this so the first information about this uh, situation came to us on the 17th night which was a sunday evening we were told by the state government to be ready in case of any support that would have been required so we have two sub two units in uh, south tamil nadu one is ins kataboman which is in uh, turunal valley and the other is ins parandu in ramnad we had cautioned them to be ready in all respects so that in case a requirement came in they could immediately send the uh, people to rescue these uh, civil administration work sir and how many uh, of your people and which was the most challenging job uh, area wise if we uh, ask so uh, on 18th morning when we got to know that the uh, uh, water levels had started increasing and it was becoming increasingly difficult for the civil people to manage uh, being in the houses both our teams got into action immediately i think uh, the uh, tutikorin area was the worst affected area uh, we had a team which was continuously wading through water and working on to help uh, people who were stuck in their houses there were people who were stuck on trees to rescue them from there in fact we had the air operations also being undertaken uh, ins parandu helicopter uh, rescued almost about 17 people including uh, three pregnant ladies to uh, safer uh, areas where they could be rescued and taken to for subsequent medical requirements talking about tutukodi sir it was, i heard that is the most affected uh, area why because there was uh, there is no uh, way out for water to go and it'll take time so how was the air operation done so here i think i must compliment the tutikorin airport staff uh, when we had approached them and asked them that we wanted to start our flying operations uh, incidentally the indian air force and the coast guard uh, were carrying out their operations from madurai we decided to start working from tutikorin onwards uh, the tutikorin airport staff uh, took that extra effort to ensure that a small area was readied for us and through that we could start transporting our relief material we had two of our donier aircraft which were flying there depositing the rescue material and from there our ins kataboman personnel were taking the rescue material and going on and helping the others in the area recently chennai have faced the heavy rain and flood and now you are seeing that in the southern district of tamil nadu we have experienced now it is actually coming to back to normal but which was you see most difficult uh, so i think uh, both have been equally difficult uh, while in the case of chennai floods uh, we had the advance warning of a likely huge uh, disaster en route but in the case of uh, tutikorin as also tirunavelli we did not expect that the flood levels would rise to such le- uh, to such uh, magnitude and therefore i think uh, both of them have been managed and the role that has been played by the armed forces in helping the civil administration has really helped us get the situation to normal conditions at the earliest so this was real admiral rk dhingra sahab who was saying that they were ready well in advance to actually face the situation and to for the relief and rescue mission and 35 people from navy department have actually rescued 300 more than 300 people from the affected areas with camera person manoran ritesh ranjan dd india chennai